Hello, welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to take a brief look at the create table statement in Postgres. Let's get started. So we're going to cover the basic syntax, which is as follows. Create table is the first part that we're going to be covering. Notice that we have multiple aspects to the statement, the create table, the table names, the columns, the data types, and the constraints. Don't forget about the starting of the statement here, the ending with a parentheses, and then the final with the semicolon. That's it. Let's continue. So the create table, that's the beginning of the statement, the beginning of the instruction, and that's where everything starts. That is all followed by the table name. The table name is best to keep it descriptive because you're going to reference it later on, and the more you content you add to it, the easier it will be to identify what the contents and rows are in your table. Next, followed by the columns. You can have multiple columns, as you can see here. Each one of these columns will also have their own data type and constraint that we will discuss later. Each one of these are tied together and form in the statement here, as you can see, a table in, in the end. The next item to follow is the data types. As you can see, they go along with each column, and that's how we're able to indicate the content for each column. Each data type, there's a few examples here. There's a wide variety of them, integer, numbers, timestamps, dates, booleans, etc. It's best to look at the documentation so you have a better grasp of what is available for you. Another item to consider is the constraint. Now, these constraints are optional, and they are used to enforce what content is going to be in each column. They can be also piled up together or grouped. For instance, primary key, you can have a unique and a not null, and a check. Examples of piling together or grouping would be a not null, that also checks what values are contained in that column itself. Then we are reaching the final part of the statement, the semicolon. This is where it all ends. And notice everything, the rows itself the, for each column, start with a parentheses and encapsulate all that together. Everything ends with a semicolon itself. And that is the basic syntax for the create table statement. Stay tuned, we're going to have be making some more recording videos regarding how to expand on the topic of creating a table, columns, etc. See you there.